In this edition of Highlights, Cruzen visits KSCO Radio. Good morning, a brighter day is here. Good morning, may we bring you cheer. We've got time, we've got tunes, we've got time, tunes and temperature. Get up and go, it's today you know on KSCO Radio. Community involvement is what KSCO is all about. It's a news talk radio station for the Monterey Bay Area. It happens to be based in Santa Cruz. Uh, and this is such a vibrant community. There are so many things going on. There are so many different people doing different things. And KSCO's job is to reflect accurately and with integrity this vibrant community through the talk radio format. And it's interactive. Good morning. Now stay right here on KSCO Radio. KSCO went on the air um, September 21st, 1947 at 6 a.m. Our sign-on at that time was 6.15 p.m. And we got through the day without any real boo-boos. The first and only boo-boo was the wrong speed on the transcription of the Star Spangled Banner. Good morning. This is KSCO, Santa Cruz's own radio station, beginning operations to broadcast programs for your enjoyment. KSCO is owned and operated by Radio Santa Cruz and broadcasts on an assigned frequency of 1080 kilocycles with a power of 1,000 watts. For 40 years, the Santa Cruz area has depended on KSCO for up-to-the-minute news. That's the story right now as the Coast Guard comes in to play here off the coast of Live Oak. Dick Little reporting. Up-to-the-minute news from your number one information station with the great songs, AM 1080, KSCO. KSCO news time now is 25 minutes before 4 o'clock. This is the KSCO newsroom. It's been my home on and off now for about 30 years here at KSCO Radio. And KSEO has been known as a station that has brought a lot of people through a lot of disasters over the uh, last 35 to 40 years. The flood of 55, the flood of 82, the earthquake of 89. KSEO played a major part in helping people get through these disasters and help them know that there was a lot of people out there that were concerned about their welfare and their general safety. Anytime the power goes out, everybody tunes into KSEO. I find myself sometimes wishing that the power would go out so our ratings would go up. KSCO was built on Corcoran Lagoon for a very good reason. Uh, Vern Berlin selected the site of Corcoran Lagoon because of its electrical characteristics. We chose the lagoon because at that time you had to be so f only had a minimum number of houses within a certain distance. It met the requirement. The lagoon was available and the lagoon gave a better ground system which meant greater coverage. In fact, our, we had a thousand watts when we started. It got out as good as a 5,000 watt station would on dry land. What's the name of this town? Santa Cruz. Have you got a good sound? Yes, we do. Well, tell me confidentially, who do most folks listen to? KSCO Radio. Mr. Berlin uh, was very active in his acquisition of jingles and uh, he had I think he was one of the first broadcasters uh, who used jingles that were specially produced with the station call letters back in the 40s we have a, a master reel that has a lot of these treasured jingles from the 1940s and 50s uh, most of them refer to KSCO as a music station, music, wonderful music. Every once in a while we might pot it down and where it says music we'll say talk, wonderful talk on KSCO 1080. <laughs> because the In the two years that I've owned KSCO, KSCO has been built into exactly what I dreamed it could and should be and that is a, a very um, uh, vibrant news talk radio station for the Monterey Bay. And the reason, the, all the credit goes to the staff. You, we couldn't have a better staff of, of people here at KSCO. How often does one get to put into practice a dream that, that he's had all his life? That's what KSCO is, is for me. I'm sorry, baby, but I really got 
Bye.